Tokozani, Tokozani. Um, today's Monday. Um, Koko Lerato, Koko Kanda Um, as you guys can see, my eyes are red. Uh, as I was preparing for today's talk topic, I'm closing it. So I'm a bit everywhere today. Um, in terms of even my dress code, um, it's taken a very unexpected turn. I wanted to talk about something slightly different but relevant. However, um, Badimu have said something else today. So as you guys can see, like I'm wearing this black top. Um, I would have worn my black speaker, but maybe not. Um, it looks like today I'm having a lot of um, ancestral spirits coming through and um, I'm having Tao spirits, we all do. Um, but today I'm having more of my warrior spirits. Uh, if I could, and give a gap better black completely. But um, no, why take your neck to Kayona? Why take your neck to Kupankanya? White is Mudimwak. White is my God. So that's why I kept white. However, I'd like to say, I think before that, um, in the past few weeks, as I've been saying, I've been going through a process of maybe mourning Horowa. And I noticed this when I went to church two weeks back and I was just drawn to be dressed in all blue. Um, and as we discussed some time back, Hore, blue, le black, they're very symbolic. So... Um, a lot of Ndao work being done within me. I, I I don't know if I can sing today, but I feel I need to. If I could have Nkibe Kipatla straight, Kekole um, Tzalepala as well. Um, yeah, my roots are already shifting, but um, it's okay. It's okay. Um, are are rappelling. Are rappelling. Jesu Christ ya matla otle wena khanya le fatse wena re bulela nditsela ra o mema wena morena modimo ra o mema wena sna tla sale hodimo re kopa ka re le hodimo re kopa bong go le bontla te mogolo re kopa mabitleng a mathala gale re kopa ganya e be lona le tlo re gantsetsang manyelo e lo hle a matla morena modimo re o tshepile re le wena o tla dinkutsa o ditla o tlaletse la ha o re gantsetse ditsela wena Jehova ya matla otle e be wena tla re thusa o be wena morena modimo se wa buana na bule botho ba ka bo sale morao tsa go faebe wena tla tsamaisang tsotlhe bo ngo ndo bontate moholo ba makubetse ba mtjali ba bogatsu ba go tlwa ke le mema bo ngo ndo bontate moholo e be le natla gantsa bo ngo ndo bontate mo le le nthuse be le na le tla bua matla o tle ke wane ya ntate modimo ke wane ne ya ntate modimo ke wane ya modimo ke go ba ganya le sedi tsa go faebe wena tla bua le nna bo ngo ndo bontate moholo e be le natla nthusa e be le natla gantsa nditse ibele nna tla gantsa ditsela bo ngolo bo ntate mongolo le se di ganya amen got to do it only once um i thought i'd be able to do it but um it looks like yeah, no it is getting pretty heavy okay um just a moment please There's somebody who's watching, who's having, I don't know if it's a sick mom or sick aunt. Um, they're expecting this person to die. Um, do pray and release this person from your soul, from your spirit. That's <sighs> I don't know, I think maybe I'll take questions today uh, and maybe do readings. Oh, I'm all over the show. Um, it's a woman. I see a woman whose mom, grandmother, mother, mother figure who is very sick and um, she's worried um, um, if mom will, will, will live or not. I almost feel like this mother figure is ready to go, but she's staying because when I, you don't want to let go. You are being given the responsibility, whoever you are, to take care of the household. So I'm guessing you're the only one or you're the one who's who's um, providing for Gokai. 
um, and it's almost like mom says um, she feels that she does not want to be a burden to you she's lived her life and it's been a great life it's not the life that you wanted for her but it's hers regardless um, and yeah um, sure guys um, but I knew it I, I think I knew um, Okay. Today, and I guess that's why my, my spirits are settling themselves. Um, I'm going to do a final topic on Dao spirits um, and answer a couple of questions. Um, okay, one very interesting question that I got from a guy on the side, and he said he's a priest. And he says he was told that he's gotten down spirits. So how does he do it? And as a priest, um, have endowed spirits. So it's very simple. From the analogy that I like to give, that we are all differentiations of God. The one true God, Mudimu Arona. And God expresses itself through all of us. And... We are like individuations of God. So Dao spirits in actual form, in actual way, um, I thought about it. Uh, Dao spirits are actually mudimu. It is the pure energy um, that we experience. And God is the only pure energy. So how, you know, how would you experience um, God, you can experience God in whichever way. Um, so definitely, um, you should have in our spirits because Buruti is a calling. Buruti is healing, right? Um, whether you may feel that you were chosen or you chose to go into it, it, it doesn't matter. For the fact that you got attracted into that line of work says that you got attracted your higher self got attracted into doing the work of God, doing the work of healing people, whether it's in a church building or a So for the fact that umurudi, it means that you're a healer. Um, and it means that it's a calling. So definitely a healer would have um, Ndao spirits. All healers have Ndao spirits. Um, actually, every human being, has Dindao spirits. It's just that uh, they are prevalent in in certain, you know, not people, but I'll say that they're prevalent um, with regard to certain gifts because when you need, when you are expressing your life through healing others directly, then your Dindao spirit becomes more prominent. But we all have Dindao spirits. Now, let me give you guys a wonderful example of Ndao spirits in the world without even being aware of it. Every song that we have ever heard, whether it's a pop song or whatever, every song that has gotten to platinum, you know, listening, listening or platinum views, every song that has ever been popular in this world is a song that has gotten Ndao spirits driving it. Right. The reason why I say that is because pure energy is something that we can all connect to. Um, and because we are all individuations of God, when we as a human race, as a collective, can agree that a particular song is wonderful, it sounds good to our ears, whenever we can agree on that, it means that, think about it, it's like a majority's vote. vote. The majority of the individuations of God align with a certain expression. So the person who could have written that song definitely had a Dao spirit. Um, the person who sang that song, the way that it was sung, definitely has a Dao spirit. Music is incredibly powerful. Um, and that is why you would find Dao spirits prevalent in them. Another good example, cake recipes or the cakes that we love, they were not always there throughout mankind, right? So, dikuku, cakes, wedding cakes, your carrot cakes, 
your red velvet cakes. These are all inspirations, ideas that people got. And these ideas, our individual taste buds, irregardless of where we come from in life, when we taste those particular cakes, we, we, we all agree, you know, this is what we want. That is why you would find your popular cakes, chocolate cakes, you know. Khangata in Dao spirits, they pull in people. But let me give you why they pull in people. Just like Kajeso Kreste, his work was to mainly pull in people. Whenever a thing, an idea, a, a thought, an expression becomes about more than you, whenever it extends beyond your life, then it pulls in people. Right? Uh, and at the time, because it's coming from Yondao spirits, we were coming up with this idea, the cake, or you are Jesus Christ, Oling Wani. At the time when you experience this inspiration from Yondao spirits, you're normally isolated. You're normally alone, right? And literally, like Jesus Christ, it was 500 years down the line that um, his message as an ascended master became, um, people became cognitive of that. Before, people didn't know, right? At the time when he was going through this death, the fact that they were ignorant, the fact that they crucified him or they killed him like every other person. By the way, Jesus Christ was not the only person who was hung on the cross. Everybody in his time, and even the Bible shows us that, right, was hung on the cross. So the system of that time did what they did normally. They didn't see him as an extraordinary being. They didn't see him as a person with um, an ascended message. They just killed him like everybody else at the time. So this, I think, should be one of the reasons why you can never utasem dawe. Right? You can never utasem dawe. That should be the reason, actually, because now spirits oper operate um, as time goes on through your crown and your third eye chakras the most, the most. And from there, that's where ideas, that's where things happen with you intuitively, individually. Actually, now spirits like God do not ever touch us the same way. Do not ever touch us the same way. When we express them as traditional healing or as traditional healers or prophets, then we will express them in a particular way. But actually, they don't work like that. Now, spirits are as simple as an idea. They're as simple as an inspiration. I think it was my husband uh, a year, some years back who said to me, the, the English word for mandao, is inspiration right so whenever you find yourself having to walk away from the crowd and having to do your own thing just like Jesus Christ just like the people who invent things um, inventors also had prevalent in our spirits that they listened to that is why you would find stories I mean we, we don't know a lot about African people who created things but there are many uh, King Shaka was led by his own Ndao spirit. Um, it came through to him from a place of growing up hard and from a Nguni aspect because now his father was had rejected him and that. So he experienced he experienced the pain um, of growing up. He actually experienced Ukutwasa growing up. And when he decided to form this army, this regime that would become bigger than any other in Africa. According to his vision, that was his Ndao spirit functioning in him. Right. So now, I, I think going back to Tabaya King Shaka, it's, it's actually giving us now a nice place because I wanted to speak about Ndao spirits and our Mguni spirits um, and our Botswana spirits, whatever your culture is. Um, how, how do they connect with us? Why do we connect to them through that? Uh, and I think I've already explained that um, sometimes it is a correcting of a past pain or it is a 
cultivation of a better generation goes on coming forward. So those are the two main reasons, right? Um, in with the with the Nguni Ndao um, combination, it's the one that I know of because it's the one that I was taught of, Golifetlong, right? Uh, but I'm sure this story will apply to every other nation, right? So the story Samanguni Le Mandao goes like this: basically, um. Through the wars for land, uh, Manguni basically, uh, Babulaya, the Ndao speaking people, I think they were moving into their territory, if I remember the story correctly. They were moving into their territory as they were trying to advance their own, you know, cultural, their own, I mean, their own kingdom. Um, they moved into those territories and killed uh, those inhabitants of those places. To be able to take those places, right? So Khakulu even Likaba Soto uh would be your Nguninao um connection. Kaba Soto obviously um it would also be you the 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 Ndao spirit could very much easily because of Difakani Limfekani could easily the Ndao spirit could be um the Nguni speaking people, right? So according to the Nguni Ndao story. Um, was that because they killed these Ndao speaking people, these Ndao speaking people, um, like Abele Likaini, their blood from the soil sort of emerged, like God said. And what they did was, as an angry nation of, of people who had been killed brutally in war and bloodshed, they started to eat possess to possess they are murderers so just like kaine le abele mumudimu areng madia kaine alla mum um and that is why the color red especially red ochre red is so um symbolic of the ndaunguni combination of their relationship it's a karmic relationship a relationship of pain but pain that the Nguni people felt was necessary to be able to further their own kingdom. However, these vengeful spirits decided then to possess their killers. We even see this in, 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 um, in practical life today, actually, if you think about it. Um, even with, with, with racism uh, in the world, you know, with all of that bloodshed, with all of um, the slavery, you know, the 76 uprising would be a Dao spirit inspired event because there is death to a certain level and the person causing the death or the oppression uh, feels that it will further them and their generations in whichever way, mainly materialistically. And then there becomes like an entire revolution right where now suddenly it's like the 76 group said no no we cannot do this right so hang out that our spirits operate um like i said from a place of pure instinct right the kids by 76 which are grown-ups now given that them now they did not care um for what will happen now something very interesting that my husband also told me was that at that time, when they were doing what they were doing with the uprising, a lot of our grandparents right now, a lot of our grandmothers and granddads right now, were complaining and saying, these kids must just go to school. They must stop what they're doing. They must stop this madness. Um, you know, but what type of thing. But that group, because it was inspired by endowed spirits, um, they forged on. They forged on. So that is actually the nature of Ndao spirits, even throughout history. Whenever you see revolutions, whenever you see radical changes, it's normally people with Ndao spirits. Whenever you see anything that shocks you, um, it would be Ndao spirits. Another great person that I've 
I personally believe, I don't know if it's true for other people, but it's my personal belief. It's been my personal belief from, geez, three, four years back. And I don't like to speak about people and celebrities, but I'm just going to give a very good illustration. You know, what she does may feel radical. It may feel horrible. It may even embarrass a lot of us. But what she's doing is bringing a lot of conscious questions about ourselves to us. And that's where you would see Hore. There's a Dao spirit operating there, right? Um, because of the conscious way that she is choosing to make her life exemplary, uh, to bring in controversial uh, conversations into our houses. I think shortly before her, in Ili Lebu Matos, I think, I remember Lebu Matos. I was, it was very, very, I was very young, right? Rapper di ki a piece in our land, I don't know if you guys remember those. But I remember when they, when they had their first video and they were basically doing, what, the 91 version, not 91, the 2000 version of twerking. Um, I remember my mom, she didn't allow us to watch TV, right? So, Hangata, Dao spirits, um, they operate with radical people. The only problem is that on their own, they are not able to function. So, people, Baba Naling, prevalent spirits that are maybe seen in a singular form and not matched with the ancestral balance, Baba Nali, a problem. Right, with as time goes on, because now um, it becomes about the mission of that individual's life and what they are teaching, and self preservation no longer becomes important. Because pure energy, our, our, and our spirits know that the body means nothing, right? Um, and that's where you would sadly see things like, um, you know, amazing people say taking drugs. Um, yeah. So that's it. So that is where you need Yongu, Nimtswana, Musotu spirits. Okay. Um, they are your family. That guide you. Now, I used to think, it's the same person. It's the same entity. Um, until very recently. Um... I, I've, like I said, I realized that in Dao spirit, actually, we're using a word for pure form, which is Mudimuahau. So Mudimuahau, the pure energy that you are, the pure truth that you are, can function on its own. That's why Mahuasa does. That it can function on its own. Um, that's why you don't necessarily need to Tuasa to come up with a brilliant recipe, right? However, Badimu Baka Mokhai, they channel you, they guide you. So, Badimu Barona actually, Merokwabone, um, is to help us to find our Ndao, our God, in our way, in our culture. Right? Um, I got a very interesting question from a very wise Gogo this week. And she asked me, Hore, how do we parolam uh, dao and i said to her honestly i don't know i've never had a formal thing parolam dao now i just know or i must do certain things and then i've seen that and she highlighted something very interesting she said no you must go ulo ulo fembiwa the patient i love fembiwa because the spirit itself needs hori it's true and i said to her it's true um that's how to do it uh right however because of this combination because of this connection between mandaole by dimu barona what we can do is go through umguni that is why mguni spirits and that is why most people that twasa but twasa singuni the connection between the two tribes is very 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 prevalent and it does not die because it gets a lot of people that align with it right so just like Kereke, a lot of people align with the message of Jesus Christ. That's actually how the message becomes powerful. Limanguni, it's the same way. So by Antaria Rilibogogo, Kandalimbube Gogo, Mkulu, it we are really we are we are moving into that pool of energy. Yamanguni listen down. Right. 
um which is why the nguni ndao connection will always be the one it's a melangopili i think it's because we haven't really found a way as dinaka go twasa mtswana mdao or go twasa mopedi mdao but it is coming up now because you're seeing but bare ba tsantse ba ilo bina malopa malopo malopa right so that means the pedi ndao combinations coming together sechanga ni ndao combination has been there for a long time right uh siswati mswati ndao connection has also been there for a very long time they were actually but it's part of abanguni so they were part of the reason why we have all managed to create this pool because pele the way that we knew was that kobangaka yithwasa mguni and ndao those are the prevalent ones that you you twasa singuni and then sindao mainly because singuni ditaola tsa thing possibly and the rituals that thing um have been practiced i think for a long time and a lot of healers dinga kali di gobela they can align to that all right so now back to singuni um before i say that um we must remember the nguni ndao combination is not the only one um there are many combinations right and maybe um just as a thought as a provocation to dinga ka tseding to all of us why don't we start gore re bone di taola tsa batswana i've seen them they are different they are totally different di taola tsa machangani are totally different maybe we must start to find uh dinga ka tsa bapedi and we start to see di taola tsa bone right um because di taola tsena they are not just bones they are created um with a particular purpose i will tell you most di batswana uh bonga ka barona uh ke ba ke ba kometseng right um because bonga ka ba tswana sentle sentle ke bonga ka tshupe most ya dinga ka ke dinga ka tsa batswana ba bontsiwa so that is why ka tswana it would make sense to align with boporofeta because go bontsiwa means that you don't actually physically need go tswasa it means this thing is a thing is a way bontsiwa from years we are cost current so we lo sepa you've been shown right however dinga ka tsa batswana they can go go ma fetlong a bone and my personal belief or rather what my coach told me is that ka tswana ntwaso ga yo right um so ga ba ya bone they are going ba ilo tswasa di taola tsa bone tse di roki wang i didn't even know this um until i had a tswasa wa go zirast di taola tsa bone di a rokiwa and they are khetsia thing is not used like the the mguni where they will use the 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 fur which would be i would suppose the cow and the goat skin khetsia bone ke la kabane a small one right so this is why but you know just branching off a bit i want to go and speak about singuni listen dao and why um i've already said gore the combination is like kereke lots of healers have gone through there and those healers laba tlhoka fala their energy it continues to fuel their children and their grandchildren um so we have all been touched by this nguni spirit somewhere uh because of the magnitude at which it's moving the nguni spirit is like the african version of jesus christ let's say you know when you say the name of jesus already there's this warmth that comes within you this faith you know it's the same like amanguni um and it's the same although really really baso to really really lo tsa singuni right sindawe guys i mean i've heard people say na ke na le mndawe when when they're trying to maybe describe the magnitude or the depth of their gift but i think again sindawe so every ngak will have it right the question how linga ke ne ba go rona le mndawe na because you will the question then becomes mnda wa gago o mo o kopanya le mang le mprofeta le mguni le mosotu o eba le mchangani so manda o manguni yeah they 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 are you know that's who they are they've created this big pool of energy so most of us dive into that pool of energy right and that's how we find our journey the question ya mabitswa rona abadim um 
now becomes if kilele rato why ke fiwa le bitso la singuni and i love what gogo dinel has done because she has shaped and sort of shifted how badimu basi di badimu um would give us maina as dinaka right to be honest i feel most of us you would get a name through through the way which you are choosing to twasa right um babang like in gogo dinel's case um they affirm with the name that they want to use right but for me gogo kanda lembube is not a name yeah anybody i believe go high you know it's an ancestral name but they gave me that name because i was connected through the channel yeah the nguni ndao lefetlo right um i was connected through the channel yeah manguni so that's where my first name came from uh and my first name ki mapapela pezulu and i thought that well my gobela was nampok but she was by giving me that name unampela gore i'm forward what i was not aware of and what i learned recently is that libito le gobela ka nampile lona actually une abua net because sintle sintle na my prevalent spirits are balots except the name came at a time when i was not ready and i needed to go through the ancestral aspect of my life right so gogo kandalem would be broken down uh when i got that name i was shown the cloth the line cloth sintle sintle ne bamponza gore ke fiwa lina la sindawu it's not necessarily connected for me to the mpande itself right i am being given a name that speaks to my ngunin dao connection however the name on its own being that cloth ya yeah, tau was we are giving you lesila la tau we are giving you pure energy they were actually saying to me or we want you to function from a dao spirit aspect now let me tell you why that was important because they knew at that time or actually get twasa setso but i'm actually a prophet so my ndau nguni connection would later ch- change into ndau prophet connection right and actually that is how i go back and forward i am i am neither here nor there right so something very interesting though uh kamanguni why them why why that right ditaula tsa singuni mainly we know that we get them from the goats that we slaughter we've heard i've told you guys about the history or why that connection right and also the rich culture um and also the colors that they use um but manguni have got something wonderful because they are born not on their own kibatuba kolowaki if you look at the entire the entire nguni race they have all chosen speak i get manguni i'm including lima cross they have all put themselves close to the sea right so they managed to not only connect to their ancestral spirits they managed to connect also to the spirits of the sea and these would be spirits like your ifa beliefs uh that you would get up in top africa right uh i know you you know you read about your mummy water and that they managed to bakopanye spirituality outside of the construct of what they know um and into also listen as well so okay um now you know unguni to samguni what do you do but tla ba di pudi ba na le sphandla bone but it's part of their culture some people ba bontse gore ba tla be pudi and have sphandla as part of their culture right um some of us had to us somebody who was nguni speaking then spanda would probably be a next step where they would like you to have it or if you're going to be more ancestral uh if nali the ancestral nguni spirits and wena lona o tlo bereka bongaka ba setso uh through the nguni and our connection then spanda will most probably be likely right um in my case I I saw I saw it I wanted it but I it was not for me 
because my and our connection is with many, many, many different spirits. Right. So back in the twenty let me say the east and the west together. And that's why happy. Um again, like I said last week, um and Daukangata were also foreign traders. So they managed to capture both. But both. Right. And that's what makes them so powerful. So that is why Kasindao, Kasika when you follow through the Nguni processes, then you are following through the process of many cultures at once, actually. And I think that's why we're talking about that they like it. But it's not always supposed to be that way. Right. It's not all of us who are supposed to have Intuaso. Um, yes, it's not all of us who are meant to have Intuaso. It's not all of us who are supposed to perhaps get that to Nguni drum. Um... I have gone Hukian with my husband and his Rosie sings its own songs. No one's ever heard of those songs, you know. Um in my case, because my song was uh, But if you listen to the lyrics of that song, it's more prophetic. It's the same the lyrics actually are the same as Dumelang Hallelujah type of thing so for me it became relevant or now i'm going to be switching up and changing gears in whichever way i want but Guni, the processes are very important now let me tell you guys something that i learned from a very wise healer and this i was not aware of Nguni mkosa prophet on their own ushifta the work or ushiftabulwezi by the patient. Okay, let me say it like this. How simula utola bulwezi ba mutu. Whether umu profeta, whether unakaya setu etwa sinsinguni, or unakaya setu etwa sin whatever. The moment usimula utlatuba ubunsiwa mukharakabu tata ba mutu. Already, the remedies peku ya mutu o is already underway. And our spirits, they only inform um, the actual healing. They, they inform it. They inform it. So you and our spirit with Yonguni combination would be the one to say, However, what you're thinking is that thing. So how is it that you're thinking about it? The moment you wrap it then Peko also comes out that way. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys is because many of us, we cannot understand what to do. I get a lot of messages. Gogo, I've got a gift. Yeah, Laura, what should I do? Right? How about you are Laura? Right? Your gift will inform you right and inform you in the small things how bony means chances are when are you going to have more prophetic gift what we should be doing instead of trying what we should be doing is knowing that already it means the demo cell is functional Khotwasa is a way, or it's it's you acknowledging in your mind, Hori, you've got a functional spirit. So actually, you are born as Ngaka. You don't become one. You are born Ngaka. And all that Khotwasa is doing is unfolding that process. Right? So if now you feel Hori, now you're gifted um, and you feel that you you know you've got spirits most of the time the mind's way the body's way the human way is to try to seek validation and to try and say ke batla muthomong a bone or muthomong a mpolelle or i'm gifted but actually instead of doing that why not u believe gore you were born with the spirit of god the pure spirit yamanda within you which you can choose to exercise any time and, you know, I know that this knowledge, it sounds like kibua fe, like kibua bulaite. But let me tell you, this knowledge 
it changes your entire experience ya go twasa around it changes how you see by dimu bagago it changes how you even perceive your down spirit in my personal opinion motho o parolelwa mndawe mo le gore now mndawe teng wa swetsana i believe gore it's a person gore they themselves are lacking faith to some level now let me tell you what i told uh, this gogo she's a very wise woman i said to her for me the reason why i believe i've never had problems ka go parolela motho mndawe is because i look kumsam where the lozi is i look where the lozi is with nguni spirit is if nguni le mndawe are together it means gore ba khona buisana bone why should i be cracking my head gore what does the ndawe spirit want why not say gogo if you can go pa wire mero go go gae tla be di khogo phahle go pa wetse 1 2 3 1 what i found easy for me is to use the nguni the prophet the connection to be able to reach ndawo o and 99% of the time it works then the ndawo spirit comes up mo mo le thwaseng la yona modimo ga go comes up mo wena and starts to show you through the toro gore sentle sentle o batla gore o tlo go etsetse eng and the ndawo spirit 99% of the time will show me through a dream using a nguni face using a, a prophet face to tell me this is what i want you to do so we must look at their connection um those two and more so rona when we are gifted we must look to our ancestors connection to lotsa mogai we must look to them risanya tsepe right to know that you are gifted is not something that someone else you don't need to physically see and domba you don't need to physically see the taula you don't need to physically see um the beads my first bag ya ditaula was given that bag by our gobela afetso khonshela le hlusi i had never really been trained unke ntse di fagar go unka ditaula tsa go tsamae ngaka after a weekend right and the moment i had those beads on people started coming to my house i didn't know what to do lim cool worse that i couldn't read the dial it was the, the most tragic thing on earth but when i started to say to myself but hang on mara di taola wa di blella mo go tsantsi di tlhole ke khona o di setela nna go di taola tse tsantsi di shebe that's when things started to get easy the more i found myself doing my own thing that's when i found things becoming easier right uh we had a set yadi taula tsi di black i had never seen that we had never seen that limkhulu but we decided a ke rekinye di taula tsa ke reke abusego and we wanted to see what would it work and it did right so to today practically speaking i can do a bone reading on anyone anywhere ka di taula tsa anybody why the foundation is in knowing that badimo baka have given me this gift le gore mndawe wa ka is the one who is informing nguni so if a khona to inform nguni o khona inform a motswana if a khona inform a motswana o khona inform a prophet and and what i also found helpful i even pushed myself uh one time and did a reading ka di khurumelo tsa di perfume bottles it worked out why because the foundation came away so let us not seek um validation this is one journey if you want to create that inspirational song or that inspirational message or even that inspirational bungaka maybe um you should feel to you, you should follow your down spirit right so i hope to debunk some of that next week is today is my final lesson and it's taking long but it's important all right before i close up now i want to just explain the bangles right uh we know the people bana le mandao bana ba rwala di bangles right um and i spoke about tp the fire element an element mostly the bangles they represent the fire element with the water combination um copper bangles also would 
be speaking about the mu already. So it would be ngaka ya it inale it would be ngaka ya sit so inale mda wa sit so or it could be a person una le mda wa sit so oberi kisang mulo otu anko miti. So that's what copper would mean. Uh, gold would be gold. We spoke about it. Silver would also be a person on a lemdao wako meeting prevalent. O sebe tanka meeting. O bon tanka meeting. And then you get your mixed uh, bangle. And these mixed bangles also go with your, you know, your different uh, badimu and your different gifts and how you can work them and how you can express them. So hangata eba mixed if you've gone through ancestral and prophetic uh, sides and that, um, and that, right? Um, but I didn't want to go on to the ancestral version of the bangles. The bangles. The bangles. I know a lot of people with prophetic gifts. And now we're thinking, now, I don't know, can't say bomb. Can I tell you what I know? That's a prophet. Valora, Mrs. Amy Swift. Or Valora Banyalwa. And we have said, or Dinaka will tell you, Kimunga meets. That is correct. Some people call him it in Zunza. Some people call it Ndawa Komitsi or pure Ndawa spirits. Right? Um, that is all true. Right? Because all of these names carry one thing in common. The spirit of these names is pure. So, Arreke Mudimu. We could say Nzunza Kimudimu Wakomitsi. We could say Ndawe Wasaporofeto Kimudimu Wakomitsi. We can even say Mungamitsi Kimudimu Wakomitsi. Right. Hangata, when we dream of ourselves, Rapper Mrs. E. White or Rinyalwa. Hangata, that ring, that wedding ring, is the bangle. So if you've dreamt of a, a wedding ring, when I do people's dream interpretations, I tell them, you know, ulorle ring eyang e gold e copper eyang. Um, itla yahape lo kor ubuntiwa inhape in the dream, but hangata the bangle is a symbol. Yeah, linyalo. For me, I'm wearing my bangle, a mixed, on my left hand, the hand that I'm married on, because. I actually, I feel I acquired my water spirits through marriage and not necessarily through through birth. We'll speak about that too next week. Next week, I'm going to go into water spirits. So, it's like my spirit. I do realize now that I have natural gifts that I, that I was given. Um, Committing. However, I had to go kilo dinyala. Kuparo lam dawe kuhu nyala kamo meeting kuhu nyala city. Um, so na ab kapara misa linyelo ilasa porofito through marriage. Committing. That's why you go there. You go there for linyalo. You go there for communion, because linyalo, in the Bible, um, it speaks. It says linyalo is a contract between two individuals and linyalo ya no kutlo twa bana so it could be bana bamoya it could be fruits of the spirit the bible calls them that it could be matwa sana if you're an ancestral person but mo linyalo kutlo bana le bana right and hence the connection hence the marriage hence the bangle hence some people backing at the ring really Especially ancestral people, backing at the chains, the gold bracelets, the babam backing at the gold momino, right, to to express ndawa bone or muti mwabone. Now, in closing, and as something provocative, this is something to think about. I hope I will I will not teach about this, but I can provoke you guys today. The question now becomes, in the spirit world, how do we expect How do we expect to have matwasa? 
How do you expect this gift they are only refilling for even the fruits in now if we don't experience sex? So I think that's where I'm going to park my talk. This is something to think about. And I have been asked something like this many times, but I will not teach about this because I feel this is something that needs to be experienced qualified. This is very important. Um, this is one of those revelation type of things, right? Uh, so I'm going to leave my conversation right there. Togazan, it's been great. Um, I went on for longer than expected. Next week, I hope we're going to talk about Inzunza and Lidi Neo Takumitsin only. Um, I guess it will be like a continuation on Dao Spirits. Um, but I want to focus mainly on the prophetic aspect next week. Lurdi Kereseki in and all of that why do it's for you why all of that all right togozani have a great evening thank you very much um earlier on yo uh, but it's mainly because spirits actually that was actually the idea um combination so um, I'm going to leave it at that. Togos, I have a great evening. I hope you guys are going to learn. I'm having issues with my, with my network. So sometimes the messages on my inbox, I struggle to get to them. I've left my number. If you can, even if you can text me, if you want to book a appointments, or if you want to say anything that you would have said on my inbox, it might be easier to maybe, you know, put it there. If only WhatsApp data, whatever the case. Togos, Kosini, have a lovely day. Um, I'm going to actually, I want to get that now. I want to set them nicely today. I feel they need that. Uh, we haven't had this getting moment. And once I can get a proper phone stand where my phone can hold itself, I'm going to just show you guys how I get that. I get that like a white girl, I'm telling you. But anyway, Tokozani, have a great Monday. Have a great week. It was just lovely to have you all. Tokozani.